What woke you up? Okay, beautiful. Listen, you be good today, all day long. Do you want to stay for breakfast? Okay, I Daddy. can't, honey. He's waiting for me on the boat. Mm -mm. I'll be home early. But, Mommy, I, I just want you to read me the letter. I'm going to be gone all day. Part. Take care of your mother, champ. Morning, Jimmy. Mr. Sant'Angelo is already aboard the boat. Okay, let's get going. We got a lot of ground to cover. We say on you will not be hurt. Get them in, quickly. Is the transmitter in place? Yes, in the library. Get going. You bastard! She's only three years old! Shut her up! Oh! Don't! Susie, Susie, it's all right, darling. It's all right. Shut them both up! <laughs> Here is a list of the dead. Their names and the positions they held at the villa. Very good, Dimitri. Contact yet? Not yet. I understand there's a note. It's at your house. Yeah, how much do they want? There were no mention of terms. They left it two-way radio. 
I must ask you a question, Mr. Bracken. Where have you been so early this morning? I have business guests aboard my yacht. We had a breakfast meeting. How many of my servants are dead? Old. Oh. Oh, Mr. Bracken. Tell her that she's going to get all of us. Now. 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 I understand your feeling, Mr. Bracken. However, you must remember that apart from the personal injury done to you, a most serious criminal act has been committed. But be sure that the safe return of your family will be my first consideration. Captain Nicolides, the radio recording equipment is all set up. All right. Mr. Bracken? This is Dimitri, my nephew. You have my deepest sympathy, Mr. Bracken. I'm sure we'll find a means to rescue your family. Dimitri will be staying with you, waiting for the radio contact. There will be a man standing by the transmitter with recording equipment at all times. I will take the first shift. Pilot seat and it's mine, goddammit. Just leave it there, right? Oh, yeah? Where's mine then? Comes out of your cut, eh, McCabe? Then those uh, two bullet holes in my windscreen come out of yours, right, Carl? Trouble? Yeah, a little. But I got it for you, Carl. Now, is there anything I can take back to Beirut with? So, you haven't heard about it then, McCabe? about what? The news, the papers. I haven't seen a paper in days. That is yesterday's. your son they've got to make it. It's nine years ago when I saw him last, Carl. But his rattle was bigger than he was. It's my money. Your wife, too. Yeah, I do kind of remember her. We used to go together now, my money. What do you do with it all? Huh? Buy a little freedom. Freedom's expensive, Carl. You ought to know that. I'll see you.
so long, McCabe. Oh, you! What do you want with us? What do you want with me and my children? What do you want? This is a people's jail. You are prisoners of the World Activist Revolutionary Army. You and your children are going to help us in our cause. What cause? Our struggle to liberate the oppressed peoples of the world. Do anything you want with me, but let my children go. Please, release them. Let them go. If Mr. Bryan is expecting me. The stairs at the inn. Can you take this? Thank you. of the World Activists Revolutionary Army, which is, I quote, fighting the tyranny of worldwide imperialism. To gain our safe release. Yes? Hello, Jonas. Captain Nicolaitis, it's Jim McCabe. He has the right to hear it. He's my son's father. How do you do, Captain? Sit down, there's more of this. We are prisoners of the World Activists Revolutionary Army, which is, I quote, fighting the tyranny of worldwide imperialism. To gain our safe release, you will have to raise five million dollars. And they give you only 48 hours, and then they will execute us. Jonas, Mr. Bracken. At exactly 1,600 hours, the day after tomorrow, you will turn the radio we have left you to the frequency marked on the dial. You will say yes or no. That is all. World Activist Revolutionary Army. Now, what the hell is that? A highly organized murders group, which is only interested in causing anarchy and chaos. You will never have to pay that money, Mr. Bracken. We will find them. I give you my word. I'll raise the money. We want those men as much as you want the safe return of Mrs. Bracken and the children. People were killed here. We want those kidnappers. We want them very much. And we will have them. Yeah, sure. That ought to be a cinch. We will have them, Mr. McCabe. We will. Son of a bitch. Yeah, tough little son of a bitches are dangerous. They always want to run straight up the middle. Yeah, I'm afraid he's all we got. Huh? No, he's not. I want a list of all my holdings. Everything goes. You don't have it, Mr. Bracken. Not half of it. Stock, options, holdings, debtors, creditors, the lot. And my phone book, the new one. I'll be in the office. Bye-bye, <sighs> pretty palace. Maybe not. 
On the other hand, it's just a house. She doesn't need it. Stick around. I got a lot of empty rooms. Monsieur Castleman, s'il vous plaît. George, Jonas Bracken. Yes, George, thank you. It's a terrible thing. George, you've always expressed an interest in my copper holdings. Do you think the following would be fair? But I'm all right, Mommy. Nice little darling. I'm just trying to clean you up. I'll do it. I can do it myself. Yes, darling. Yes, darling. We're still here. Of course we are. You can see that. We won't be here long. Dad's coming. He's going to get us out of here, isn't he, Mom? I'm quite sure he is. My children are getting sick. I need something to cover them with. Didn't you hear me? Get me a blanket. Use your blouse. They are children. You want them well, don't you? Get me a blanket. We are not trained to run a hotel business. No, you are trained for violence, destruction, death. This is muck. My children haven't had a proper meal for days. This is a people's jail. And you are treated like us with the same food and sleeping conditions. Then eat it all. <laughs> your problem I want blankets for my children you will be released soon but first you have to send another message I will do nothing until I get proper food and treatment for my children then for your children send the message because if you don't I will kill you all you remember the riots in Paris mrs. Brecken some years ago in May when they began, I pleaded with my friends not to use force. I believed in peaceful demonstration, in rational discussion. What we wanted, we deserved. But I couldn't see how sensible men could deny us. I tried to persuade my friends and the police to meet, talk, compromise. And this was the answer, the voice of the rifle butt. But I was glad, Mrs. Bracken. You finally know that voice because it made me realize that there's no conversation between those who have and those who do not. Against those, you must use similar weapons in reply. Force against force. Murder for murder. No compromise. Bravo. See if your blouse is foot enough for our children. Jonas, I have to tell you that your raising the money is accepted as a sign of good faith. They want more. At 8 o'clock tonight, 20 hundred hours, they will contact you on the two-way radio. Our execution is, is only postponed. I can't raise another dime. Well, I somehow feel that they're not going to ask you to. Gentlemen, be reassured. Everything's going well. Continue to cooperate, Mr. Bracken. 
When they make contact, do not let them stop talking. They are not all that smart, you know. Their radio is the extension of an army transmitter. Its range is 15 miles. This is Bracken. Let me talk to my wife. She's not at his command post. Mr. Bracken, to ensure the continued safety of your family, you have to carry out the following instructions to the letter. Slowly. Slowly until we zero in on that wavelength. They're lengthy, but as I'm sure you and the police are recording this transmission, it should pose no problem. Is she well? Yes, for the moment. Faith, Mr. Bracken, mutual faith. You asked for money, I raised it. Mr. Bracken, you must learn to accept my word as I accept yours. We are a military force fighting worldwide imperialism. The money you raise will provide us with the arms and ammunition necessary for our victory. You have exactly one week to fill our order. If you fail, your family will be executed. A six mile radius, north, northeast, over. You will purchase the following. Delivery instructions will be given when you confirm the items are assembled. I'm listening. 20 M250 caliber machine guns with 20,000 rounds of ammunition. 100 M16 1A automatic rifles with 1 million rounds of 223 caliber ammunition. 50 40 millimeter M79 grenade launchers and 150 We're cases at, of war. Uh, sector six. Yes, sector six. And 600 rounds of ammunition. 15 Balkan anti-aircraft guns mounted. 100 M14 rifles and 1 million rounds of... It seems to be a stationary ammunition. signal originating from the northeast quadrant of sector six. And 1 million rounds of 30 I think we got them. ammunition. 100 M1911A1 45 caliber automatic pistols. Also pure Grigoda Boris. 500 anti-tank weapons. millimeter motors. 30 grease guns with half a million rounds of 45 caliber ammunition. Turn to the right. Electric blasting caps, 100 protective masks, 500 illuminating flares, 100 starlight scopes, 300 cartons of sea rations. 905, 905, confirm point two, confirm point two. Seres po namre da foda, tini anapsata.
detected. Attention, attention. You are completely surrounded. You have 30 seconds from now to surrender, or we will open fire. killed, 11 badly burned, three of them critically. Well, I'll get out of your hair, Captain. Was my sister's only child, like my own son. Yes, I'm sorry about that. But what about my son? I will see that each and every one of them will be caught and punished for this atrocity. You still have to find them, Captain. Now, how the hell are you going to do that? Terrorism can always be defeated. The problem, Mr. McCabe, is to decide what price we are willing to pay to save the lives of the people which are at stake. And we must not be afraid to make that decision. Yes. No, no. Next Friday is too late. We must have them immediately. Mm -hmm. You're sure? Good. Now that... What? No, no, that won't be necessary. I'll take care of that. Wednesday, then. Yes, yes. Goodbye. Okay, I'll be back in an hour. Jonas, where the hell are you going? These are negatives. I've got to get them to the police. Do you? Listen, don't you think we ought to have a look first? Yeah, why not? Okay. Look, she's still got her jewelry. Yeah. What the hell is that behind him? A painting? And that? I don't know. Listen, make up a couple more copies of this for me, will you? What for? I'm going to find out where the hell they are. Oh. Well, the shopping bag, man. I'll, uh, I'll take care of that, okay? Okay. I saw it in the papers, McCabe, and I wondered how you'd react. I always had the feeling you weren't as, uh, casual about the divorce as you pretended to be. Come on, Fred. I've only got you for a half a day now. You know, you have aged. You have aged ten years and the two since last I saw you. It looks like I'm going to age another ten before you come up with anything. <laughs> On the other hand, Ellen seems younger. What a difference a good marriage can make, eh, McCabe? The question of class. A woman like Ellen needs a gentleman, not a gypsy. Have another drink, McCabe. This may take some time. Byzantine. Warrior saints, spears, armor. Austere, expressive faces. Well, we must make a start. Incidentally, how is... Poor Mr. Bracken holding up under the strain, hmm? He's all right. He's tough enough. Small heads. I see you've uh, changed your opinion of him, eh? 
What the hell difference does my opinion make? She married him, I didn't. Only be a master fresco painter. Well, you, you gave her to him, didn't you? I didn't give him a goddamn thing. We made a deal that was better for everybody, that's all. For you, yes. He had influence two years instead of five in prison. Was that the only reason? It was just better for everybody. Let's leave it at that, shall we, Fred? Oh, whatever you say, McCabe. <laughs> I am a definite genius. Early 16th century artist by the name of Theophanes. See how much red he uses. Oh, that's fantastic. Where is it? Ah, an abandoned monastery, Rusino. Approached by one road only, your terrorist chose well. The rocks are a natural defense. There is no way to reach the monastery without being seen.
Μπράβο, τι έκανε το πράγμα ήταν αυτό, κυρίε και κύριοι. Κοίτα τι όμορφο είναι σαν πράγμα. Ωραίο, μπράβο, ρε παιδί And now, my love, our beautiful Cora. What can I say about her? She is poetry in motion. Do you not agree, eh? Κοιτάτε και πέρα την όμορφη κοπέλα που πάει απάνω και κάτω. Στα σύννεφα σαν πουλάει. Όμορφο, δεν είναι. Κοιτάτε και πέρα την όμορφη γυναίκα η χώρα που πάει στο τρανό. Τα πρόσεξε εκεί πέρα τις κάλτσες. Γάζει τις κάλτσες από κάτω. Σε βροχώ τι πάει στο, στο μυαλό εσύ εκεί κάτω. Ξέρω τι κάνει. Πρόσεξε πριν παιδί μου. Θα, τις, θα, θα, θα τα ρίξει όλα. Τα ρούχα. Έρχονται κάτι εκεί πέρα σαν καητό. Σαν ωραίο καητό θα okay. του πάσουν. Τι ωραίο κολάκι σαν ένα αερό. Κοίτα το ωραίο κολάκι εκεί πέρα. Ooh. And if you are enjoying the show, ladies and gentlemen, don't be afraid to show your appreciation. All contributions are very welcome. Λοιπόν, κυρίες και κύριοι και παιδάκια, βάλε τα χρήματα εκεί πέρα. Come on now, please go ahead. Drakma, 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 come on. Drakma. Thank you, bravo, bravo, bravo. Finally, not to keep us in Brazil. Not to mention Brazil. Yeah, Aristo, thank you. It really looks like a fly. How long does it take to learn to fly like that? That depends on you. Two hundred dollars. We can check with Ben, huh? Oh, yes. Ben will take care of you. Who's Ben? Oh, he should be dropping in any minute now. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for Ben and Della. Aren't they wonderful? They take some applause. Yeah, let's go see Ben. Well, there's a day. We'll be right back here tomorrow. So, let's bring you Ben. We hope you enjoy the show, and we thank you for coming to fly. Obviously, thanks for the cake. All right, Ben Miller. Very good. Now we don't have time to give any lessons. Really, I'm sorry. Oh, Ben, you don't understand. He wants to give us two hundred bucks. Yeah. Well, have you ever tried it? No, but I sure as hell would like to. Says he's a pilot. It's not as easy as you think, Mr. McCabe. Let me tell you. Take my chances, honey. Listen, will that will that recall two people? Sure. Look, come on over here and have a beer. Sit down. We'll talk about it. It's my wife, Della. Della. Hi. Hey, me, Martin. Come on. We got a man out here that wants a beer. Rudy. Hi. All right. Hey, Cora. Thank you. The beer. Joe. Bread man. Uh, if you don't like it, uh, we'll give you your money back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure, right. <clears throat> Good luck. Okay, grab the bar. Keep these ropes on the inside of your hands. Get up real good and tight. Okay, you feel good? What happens now? All right, okay, we just run like hell. Let's go! Uh, all right! Woo! <laughs> Yeah, huh? Oh, it's fantastic, Ben. All right, for control, you move your weight the way you want to go. And to dive, you pull your weight forward like this. Okay, level up. Okay, let me try it. I want to bank to the right. That's it, the lean right. Woo! You got it. Oh, Jesus, where's Jesus. the mattress? Quite bad. But I'm going to crash it. All right, run. Come on, move it. Oh, push it out. Good. All right, bring your weight back the other way. Come on, the weight. Get the weight. Push it up. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Right there. Come on, you should have been faster on there. Really push off. There. All right, dive it. Pull. Run. Come on, really run. Push forward. Push her up there. Come on. Get your feet. There you are. All right, now push. Come on, pull forward. Pull forward. Drive. Get your weight in the middle. All right. All right, come on, get it up, get it up. All right, give it a good run. Hey, come on, get your hands in the middle. You got more control. Get them on the bar. Get them on the bar. Pull, pull forward. Let's dive a little bit. Some speed. All right, get your hands down there. Come on, turkey. All right, push it up. Push it back. Push it out. Push it out. Get running. Run where you're going. Come on, get on your feet.
Come in, Mr. Bracken. Come in. Do you read me? Yes, this is Bracken. Your deadline is approaching, Mr. Bracken. How are you progressing? I've raised nearly everything you've asked for. Nearly everything? It does take time. You see by the photographs we sent you that your family is still in good health and unharmed. You want them to remain that way, don't you? Of course. Then hurry, Mr. Bracken, hurry. And be careful of trying to find us. Give them to me. Captain, the reason that I... Photographs now, please. Give me the envelope. Yeah, photo analysis. Amesos. The others. There are no others. I don't believe you. Who did you give them to? McCabe? What do you think he can do? You think you're safer in his hands than in mine? Mr. Bracken. Mr. Bracken, you're coming to the station with me. Consider yourself under arrest. Okay, this is the deal. It's $100,000 for the gig. Hey, it's about 16000 each. It's gotta be unanimous. We've been together too long to split the team up now. You know, if we go in there with them, we're really gonna be laying it on the line. And it's no more circus tricks either. But look at these faces. Hey, if we pull it off just if we pull it off, we can write our own ticket. And it's not just getting in there, it's getting out. I don't know. Maybe the terrorists have something on their side. Well, what do you think? I say we go. Pardon? Yeah. Well, if it was me up there, I wouldn't mind some help. Uh, Della. You know I'm with you, Dave. Democracy in action. <laughs> <laughs> You're out. <laughs> what would you have done if we'd said no? <laughs> Your son, just five hours from here. We'll go for them tomorrow. After they return my family. Afterwards, you can do whatever you like. You will never see them alive if you deliver that equipment. After they return my family. Mr. Bracken, please, do not underestimate the level of their insanity. I don't underestimate what's going to happen if they discover a rescue attempt. But they will not discover it. Mr. McCabe checked out of his hotel two days ago. We are told he left with some other Americans. We go now. We don't wait for dawn. Come with me, Mr. Bracken. Come and help me free your family. Captain, please. Can I persuade you to wait? I'm afraid you cannot. Are you coming? Yeah. Oh, we can't make it from here. We want to get above the monastery. We're going to have to look for higher elevation over in here, in this area. We'll just use that tall one over there. Yeah. Can we get up there? Sure. Apple pie for Joe. Our descent path's going to take us right down there through those stone teeth. Yeah, it'll give us good cover on the way out. Oh, what the hell is going to give us cover on the way in? Yeah. Silent surprise. Darkness. Darkness. Full moon three nights this week. Does that scare you? Well, if the wind is right, we'll try it. And that we never know until we get there. And does that scare you? I won't know till I get there.
No, not hello. Good try, Jimmy. Come on, Susie, your turn. Sunday beginning with H. Uh, helicopter? <laughs> it was help. And it was a good idea, Susie. Downwind doesn't stop. We won't be able to fly tonight. It's tonight or never. I don't care when to know when. I gotta go in. Get some sleep. I'll take the rest of your duty. It's okay, it's me. Is everything all right below? Yeah. Ready to fly. A twist, huh? Yeah. yeah, listen up. No voice on the radio, right? Two taps when I'm down, three taps is your signal to jump. After 15 minutes, if you don't hear from me, pack up and go home. Yeah. Get out of my way.
he wipes out, I'll hear him. He's down, he's okay. That's it. Take care, baby. Don't you worry about me, Chickadee. Thank you. 
kites up above the monastery. I'll see you there just after daybreak. With any luck. Right. Be careful. Easy now.
Hey, Franco, get me some coffee. All right, all right. Give me a minute. How's about you making the coffee for a change? And I'll listen to the radio. busy whistling for his own good. Hey, Ben, bring him. Come on. we had together, isn't it? Take your sister now and go out and join those two gentlemen out there, okay? Go on, Jimmy. Have you come to save us? God. Fire at will. Quick, give me that. Have them bring up the helicopter.
Don't let them get below us. Keep pushing up to the top. Come on, Jimmy. You can make it. Run with him and keep running with him even when you're off the ground. It's all right, darling. You're going to fly like Peter Pan. Hey! Hey! Move it! Trust us. You'll be all right.
God. <laughs> Hold on to your sister a second, will you? Oh, wait. Congratulations, my kid. You were very... Oh. Very lucky. Lucky, huh? God, you'll never know how lucky. Oh. That's very impressive. That's flying. <laughs> You've got to be crazy. Yeah, that's right. You gotta be crazy. Listen, there was a boy who went down in the mountains over there. Just the rest of them get down all right. That way, find out. Yeah. You always did put me through hell, baby. Watch that, it's loaded. Safety. Safety. Oh, sorry. Come on up. Oh. I get Jimmy. No, no, no. I think one old man's enough for a kid that age, don't you? I mean, maybe. Maybe later sometime. Yeah. Later. <laughs> I see you. Yeah. The rest of the flyers will be all right. Oh, that's good. And I have a little present for you. Ah, oh, great. Five star. I can get this for you, sale. Mm. Of course, you gotta buy it by the cake.